Okay, I'm looking here at Blackburn v Sunderland in the correct score market. And when you're looking at this correct score market, uh, we're going to place a back bet based upon what we think the final score is going to be. Now, of course, we immediately face a problem. There are 17 selections in this market. So I could go in and go, well, I think Blackburn are going to win 1 0. So I'm going to put a tenner on Blackburn to win 1 0. I win £82 if that occurs and I lose £10. You can see £82 if that wins, and I lose £10 if that does not occur. But no sooner have I placed that bet than I'm thinking, well, I suppose they could win 1-0, but then Sunderland could win 1-0 as well. You know, 1-0 is quite a common score, so let's put a, a tenner on Sunderland to win 1-0. So we now have the situation where we win a bit of money but lose more if some of the other events uh, occur some of the other score lines occur within this event. So all of a sudden I place those two bets and I'm sort of thinking, well, Sunderland could score first and Blackburn, desperate to avoid relegation, could equalise. So let's, uh, let's cover that as well. Um, let's go in there, back one all with £10, uh, and there we go. But all of a sudden, um, you can see here that we've placed three bets, but the reward that we're going to get is, is not very equal. We're going to lose £30. That's, that's guaranteed if any of the other results come in. But we win an odd amount depending upon if any of the other scores occur. And this is where Dutching Software comes in. Um, if we go into Dutching Software, you can see that the screen looks very similar to what you can see already on the correct score market, 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 3, and so on. We've got all of the possible events listed down here. Um, and what we need to do now is cover off the eventuality. So we wanted to cover these three events here, which is 1-0 to either side and 1-all. So if I just tick the box saying 1-0 to Blackburn, 1-0 to Sunderland, 1-all, what we can actually do here is if we bet with a stake of £10, um, Dutching software reacts differently. So rather than using a stake of £10 on each, it says my maximum stake is going to be £10. And you can see here that this is basically saying you would win £20 if you use a maximum stake of £10 on this particular scenario. So let's up it to 30 that we see on there. What you can actually see here is a clever thing that the Dutching software does is it says we're betting with a stake of £30, so our maximum loss is 30 But can you see it's equalised the profit across these three selections? So if it's 1-0 to either side or 1-all, we make the same amount of money. And it does this by varying the stake um, within the software. It does all of the complicated calculations for you with the intention of equalising out your profit and your loss. If you do this on the conventional site, of course you can't do this because <coughs> you're, using a le you're using a level stake and you're getting an unequal distribution of profit. Dutching software equalizes that profit out for you. And you can see that all we've done there is we've said back with a stake of £30, tick, 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 there we go. If you want to place this bet, so we just click on place bets. Now, £60 maybe you don't want to take a £30 risk to get £60 so what you can do is you can bet for a profit target off as well so if we say actually we just want a tenner out of this we're pretty confident this is going to be 1-0 to either side or a draw and therefore um, we want a £10 profit how much is that going to cost me and you can see by switching our criteria to bet for a target profit of £10 we have achieved um, the following if it's 1-0 or 1-all um, or nil one, we win £10. And if any of the other scores come in, we lose £5. So using Dutching software is a great way of managing your risk within a market. But it gets better. Because no sooner have we looked at doing this, then we're sort of thinking, well, it could be some other score line. So you can actually, if you wanted to, cover off other score lines. We've specified that we want a target profit of £10. What the Dutching software is going to do is work out what stake is required to achieve that. So we could go in and we could say, well, we think it could be 2-1 in either direction. And what Dutching software does is adjust and equalize out the profit and loss depending upon what you've decided to do. So you can see we're saying here, bet for a profit target of £10, and that's going to cost us 9 97 in total stakes. 
you don't have to worry about the maths behind this because the software does that it will just give you the information you require and then you just place bets so we are now covering out of the 17 selections we're covering one two three four five of the 17 selections much much easier to pick a group of selections so we're picking five from 17 our chances of getting that right are much much higher than if we just picked one score out of 17 but we can improve things even further because we could say well maybe you know it will go to 2-1 but then somebody will pull a goal back at that point but we don't want to make money on that we just want to cover ourselves in case that scenario happens so if I select adjust target profit and I do that by clicking on this box over here I can actually put a zero in here and then magically the software will zero out the profit or loss or I mean you can see here it's a 5p loss but that's as close as it can get to zero and you can see here that we retain our um, target profit of £10 if it's 1-0, 2-1, 1-all, 1-0 or 2-1 in the other direction but if it ends up 2-all we get away with a 5p loss or zero basically as we've targeted so it's actually very flexible because you could do this on any number of scores you know maybe um, Blackburn will pull off a shock and win 2-0 well let's zero that out as well if that occurs we don't want to make a loss on that and well maybe Sunderland could win 2-0 so let's zero that out as well and what you'll see is that we're still retaining our £10 profit if any of our predicted scores come in but if any of the scores that we're not so sure about come in then we have a we exit for zero basically um, or if you think there's an outside chance of something crazy happening like Blackburn winning 3-0 you could say well actually that's so remote I'm willing to take a £10 loss on that and you can mix and match what you're doing here is you're not backing and accepting the odds that are available to you here you're saying this is how much profit I want or I want to break even or I want to take a small loss and this is the target profit that I require and the dutching software will do all of the work for you and once you've decided what position you want to place you just click on place bets and the bet is placed in the market and you can see here in this scenario we've covered one two three four five six seven eight nine out of the seventeen possible scenarios that could occur uh, this evening and that's the big benefit of dutching software is you're not backing one selection and risking all your money on whether something occurs or not you're spreading your risk across a number of scenarios and specifying the amount of profit that you wish to take um, if those scenarios come in um, and that's the big benefit of dutching software I'm going to go into the correct score market now on the match that's taking place this evening and we select the market that we're interested in which is the correct score market I'm going to cover 1-0 one 1-0 one one to Sunderland if we do that and I click place bets now it confirms what we're going to do that matches what we see on the screen um, I'm going to say no I've changed my mind I'm going to modify this and I'm going to say it could end up nil nil and if that's the case I don't want to cost me anything on that particular occasion so we have now covered one nil to either side a one all draw and we're hedging that there will be no goal in this particular market so I'm going to go ahead now place bets and it confirms what we're going to do here now you can actually see here that on this occasion we're below the minimum bet requirement which is 50p so I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to change and say change that to 50p um, and you can see therefore how that modifies the behavior of what we're doing here or well, the other option I've got is to just say well okay I'll win a little bit more in which case and you can see that that's modified to above 50p so again we'll go in here now place bets much happier with that scenario and it's above the minimum bet requirement you know I click yes that bet is placed into the market and you can see here that we win in fact you got matched at a slightly higher price there um, we win best part of 11 pound if any of those scores come in but if it's nil nil this evening we lose nothing if we go into match bets you can see that confirmed there and the log also confirms the activity that's taken place now if I go on to the main bet DAC screen what you will see is that um, 
there are the bets. Sorry, I just had to wait for it to refresh. There are the bets um, which we saw placed within the market, and you can see that that matches exactly what you can see within the software. So the software is really just providing an interface for you to do complicated or more complicated betting with relative ease. And um, all of that information is replicated um, on the main BetDAC website. And you can see the PNL looks exactly the same and so on. So this is an interface that sits over that, allows you to do all these clever things uh, with relative ease. And even if you shut the software down now, you'll be able to see the result and impact of that um, on BetDAC. But that bet is now placed and the scenario will be if Blackburn or Sunderland win 1-0 uh, or it's a one-all draw, we'll make £11. If it's nil-nil, we lose nothing, and if any other score occurs, we'll lose a little bit as well. Um, but of course, you can cover as many selections or as few as you wish. Um, but it's that simple to use Dutch software to place um, a Dutch bet on the correct score market.